Hey, I'm C Dinky. And in this video, I'm going to be going over why New Game Plus for Grounded 1.4 is going to be a nightmare for all of us. Earlier today, the devs have teased what is coming into 1.4. If you want a more in-depth detail of what is exactly coming, check the video in the link in the description or on the card in the top right. The New Game Plus mode is coming into Grounded 1.4, which is going to be a harder version of what is already in Grounded. So our WoW mode players, I'm sorry, you haven't reached the peak difficulty just yet. There's a lot more to come, I promise. And as we progress into New Game Plus, we're going to see a bunch of new different weapons as well as a smithing station to make our weapons even better than Plus 9. And I promise you, New Game Plus 1 is going to be more difficult than fighting the infected broodmother on WoW mode. Trust me and hear me out. As far as we know, when it comes to New Game Plus, the enemies are going to have more HP and going to hurt more. This is in New Game Plus 2, which is what the devs were playing on. And as you can see, the firework rate has a crap ton of health, almost as much as the Mant in normal mode. But they are also playing with four players, so that's going to increase its HP as well. So if you're a solo player, don't worry, it's not going to be this hard as of yet. So if you think New Game Plus is just going to be grounded, but with the bugs having more HP and attack, you're partially correct. But check out this tick who has been infused with raw signs. And look at this, it just one shot this guy. Granted, he is in New Game Plus 2 with like level 2 gear. But still, why does a tick have an explosive attack? Ticks don't have an, an explosive attack in normal grounded. Now let's look back at that clip and let's see how do we know this tick is infused? Well, it's glowing pink like raw science and we can see it's infused by how many status effects it has. It has faster running speed, an attack boost, a HP boost, an explosive attack, and looks like attack speed as well. So as of right now, this isn't fully out, so this could change at any moment in time, but every single infused bug in the game is going to have more HP, more attack damage, and a faster move speed with two random modifiers. Which means every single fight you're going to have with an infused enemy is going to be a challenge because it's going to have two random modifiers. Just imagine a Black Widow with explosive attack. Like, just think about that for a second. Like, we already know, with WoW mode in 1.3, the Black Widow got a massive buff. It eats his child, gets attack speed and healing. Imagine that being infused. It's going to have more attack damage, more HP, and faster move speed, and two random modifiers, which could be explosive attack, even faster attack speed. So its attack speed could be times three to four. This is going to be insane. The devs also decided to go ahead and try and attack this infused wolf spider. It had its three main base status effects and its two random modifiers. Explosive on hit attack, making it an infected wolf spider and had the sour staff attack. Why does a wolf spider have the ability to shoot sour balls at me? And the final infused bug that we saw was a black ox beetle. Once again, three main modifiers and the secondary modifiers once again. Explosive on hit attack and venom coating. I can't wait to be fighting a black ox beetle and it throws a rock at me that explodes and gives me the venom effect at the exact same time. And if you think that's bad, you just wait. Okay, so we know what is in New Game Plus, but how are we going to get into New Game Plus? This is where the secret door comes into play, where you're going to need to kill every single boss to be able to enter the new game plus area. So once you go ahead and kill every single boss in the entire game, besides the director Schmechter and the infected Brumella, this door will open and you'll be able to advance into new game plus. And now we know the devs are playing on new game plus two, meaning they had to do new game plus one, kill the hedge Brumella, Mantis and the wasp queen with all those modifiers. You see what I'm talking about now? Granted, our weapons and gear are going to be a lot stronger, so we're going to be able to sustain ourselves while playing New Game Plus 1, 2, all the way up to 10, possibly. Now, I might trigger some PTSD into some of you guys, but take a listen to this sound and imagine this thing being infused. Now, imagine you're playing New Game Plus, right? You're going ahead, trying to get to the Brawny Boy bin, destroying the wasp's nest, and you find yourself a wasp drone. Currently in Grand of 1.3, in any mode, the wasp drones are annoying, and you can all agree upon that. Wasp drones are the most annoying bug in the entire game, right? Just think about this guy being infused with faster move speed, an increased attack, increased HP, and two random modifiers. This is going to be pain. And if you think this is the worst enemy for New Game Plus, I have got some really bad news for you. But just before we get into that, Infused bugs in Grounded in New Game Plus have a set chance of spawning. I don't know the exact number as of yet, but what I do know is, is that the devs confirmed in New Game Plus every single boss in the game will be infused. You probably see where I'm going with this, but just imagine a wasp drone, it has a set chance of becoming infused. The wasp queen says otherwise. Every single time you're going to fight the wasp queen in New Game Plus, it is going to be infused. More move speed, more attack, more HP, and two random modifiers. How lovely is this going to be? And if you're playing on WoW mode, I'm sorry, this is going to be almost impossible. Like, even WoW mode right now, it is pretty hard to fight the Wasp Queen because in her second phase, she summons in two Wasp drones, which are quite difficult to fight unless you have a maxed Widow Dagger and Assassin Mutation. And the drones constantly give the Wasp Queen bleed effect, healing effect, 
Now imagine this in New Game Plus where the Wasp Queen is infused and most likely her summons will be infused because as we know in the Wasp Queen boss fight, the wasps she summons in have three hit points of HP. Otherwise, it's going to be unfair if we legit fight three different full HP wasps. Um, I do not want to see these guys fully infused. Please don't do that, devs. Otherwise, this fight is going to be nearly impossible. And keep in mind, we're going to need to kill the Wasp Queen in every single New Game Plus to progress to the new New Game Plus. Now, remember when the Infected Brubella came out out of nowhere and we were like, damn, this boss is really hard. Imagine if they add more Infected bosses into the game. We don't need to imagine that anymore. That's already here. Now, I don't want to get started on a WoW mode fully infused infected broodmother with attack speed on top of attack speed on top of attack speed on top of an explosive attack that she already has this is going to be a nightmare once again hence why the video is called granted 1.4 is going to be a nightmare okay so now we have here the mantis we know the mantis is really annoying because no matter what even if you perfect block all of its attacks it's still going to debuff you with a bleed an attack damage buff and a perfect block buff really annoying right now imagine this guy infused in new game plus one through to whatever and you get the random modifier of explosive on hit effect. You're going to have a bleed, parry debuff, attack damage debuff, explosive monster machine. I'm going to say now, the Wasp Queen and the Mantis are going to be the new hardest bosses. The Infected Brumel is going to be down below. The Infected Brumel is going to have nothing on top of these two guys. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we don't need to kill the Infected Brumel to progress into a later New Game Plus stage. We need to kill the Mantis and the Wasp Queen. So I'm thinking these two guys are going to be extremely hard, unless they nerf it somehow before 1.4 drops. And I'm out here making this video warning you guys about how hard New Game Plus is going to be. I haven't even tried New Game Plus at all. I'm just in your shoes. I'm looking at footage and I'm just predicting. And I'm already quaking in my boots. And now, extremely hot take. I don't know how this is going to go, considering that only like 2% of all plays in Granite have killed the Infected Brumella. And I'm not too sure why the Infected Brumella isn't needed to progress into the later stages of New Game Plus. But I could be wrong, they're playing on New Game Plus 2, so maybe in like New Game Plus 3, 4, the Infected Brumella might not be a needed necessity to be able to progress into New Game Plus 5. I am not too sure. So all of the Grounded Veterans, or even the new people that are going to start when this update drops, I'm going to say to myself and to all of you, a very good luck, we are all going to need it. And to be honest, I fought every single boss pre 1.4 with just tier 1 gear on medium difficulty, and I believe that is going to be a lot easier than having new game plus 3 with the best gear. So what do you guys think about this 1.4 update with the new game plus? Is it going to be too difficult for us? Are the devs going to need to nerf it like within a week or two? I'm pretty sure the guy's going to complain a lot that this, the game is too difficult, but it's new game plus, it's meant to be hard. Comment down below what your feelings are. If you made it this far into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it a lot, and I'll catch you guys when 1.4 fully drops.